What's up guys? Man, oh man, do we have something special today. Hogwarts Legacy has uploaded four videos to their YouTube channel that feature the common rooms of each house. So we're going to be able to take a look at the common room of Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Slytherin, and Gryffindor. And uh, I mean, obviously this is a, a big part of the game. You know, this is going to be one of the last things you see before you go to bed every night. One of the first things you see when you wake up. It's where you interact with classmates and friends and devise plans. And, you know, it's, it's a, basically your home while you're at school. So uh, very excited to see this. Everything we've seen from this game so far has been so good. The attention to detail, that the you know just true passion. You can you can see it and feel it, and I feel like that's probably going to show through here in these common rooms. So uh, let's check it out. Starting off with Hufflepuff. Oh wow! Yeah, this this is beautiful. Got a dancing cacti there. All the vines and everything. An enchanted watering can over in the corner. This is homey. I'm not much of a Hufflepuff, but this is very homey. I like this. <laughs> Students walking by with floating books and stuff. I, I can't wait for this game. So yeah, they're, they're going to be near the kitchen. They're through the, the little barrel thing. <sighs> Got your house ghosts and things. There's some more floating watering cans. I mean, this is just beautiful. This is so homey. I would hang out in here, read a book. Drink a cup of coffee. Look how alive everything. There's so many things happening, you know, students interacting, the fire going on, the floating watering cans, the plants moving around. Wow. That's going to be tough to beat, not going to lie. That, that, that looks pretty good there, but we're going to move on to Ravenclaw. Oh, this is clean. Obviously, Ravenclaw, big focus on knowledge and smarts and wits and things. Got a nice mahogany to it. Leather bound books. Yep. Telescopes looking. I wonder if you're going to be able to see outside through the windows. That'd be pretty cool. Here's our entrance. One of the more simplistic entrances, right? Ooh. This is, you're going to have to be able to see. I wonder if you could see like people flying by on broomsticks and stuff. Oh, wow. Oh, dude. So light and airy. A lot of open space. Hufflepuff, what? Ooh. Interactive little items and things. Hufflepuff was kind of a little... It was it was cozy, but it, it was a little overly done with plants and things. You know, felt almost a little congested in a, a way. Not, not in a bad way, but in a cozy way. This is a little bit more stark, a little bit more open, but still, still very nice. Next up, we've got Slytherin. Anytime I take a test, I'm about half and half Gryffindor and Slytherin. This is going to be a lot, a lot darker, a lot dingier. Half of it's under the lake, right? Yeah, you can see out into the lake there through those windows. It's not going to be quite as inviting as the ones we've seen. Not as, not as happy, not as exciting. Just, oh, what? <laughs> Oh my God, that was, okay, I, I gotta rewind it. Just a plain unassuming wall, and then out of nowhere down here in the dungeons, a snake pops up and reveals a doorway. That's insane, yeah, you can see out into the lake. I wonder if we could potentially see, you know, like, um, oh, they're playing wizard's chest there. That's, that's animated, that's cool. But I wonder if we could see like things swimming by, you know, the little merdemon things or, Giant squid or something. Oh my goodness, dude. Notice all the, the robes are all special and, and unique too. Ooh, that was that was cool back there. Take a look at the, the water flowing in right here in these columns. And this is kind of, you know, all built into like a, a cave, it looks like. I, I mean, it's not nearly as beautiful. I, I don't think I would really want to hang out in there. It looks like it probably stinks and, you know, kind of always wet and, and muggy and stuff like that. But uh, you got to give it to them, like seeing these varied environments. I mean, it, even Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw, they were happy and they were bright and they were they were a little bit more, you know, homey. But they were vastly different. And then take it a look at, at Slytherin here. It, it's night and day. So this this is cool. On to Gryffindor. Crimson and gold, baby. We've got moving portraits on the walls. A little cluttered. Definitely not, uh, you know, 
Ravenclaw. It, it's it's a little haphazard, but that's okay. Whew, that stained glass, dude, that is nice. Got the fat lady here. Dude, these robes look so good. Everyone has had themed robes. Opens up to a tunnel. And there she is, the main common room. Oh, someone's shuffling cards over there? This is beautiful. This is really, really well done. I, I can't wait to just explore. I, imagine all the hidden little things that you're going to be able to find. All the little references, all the little Easter eggs and things. It looks like you're going to be able to interact, you know, go sit down and play cards, play wizard's chess against somebody, stuff like that. All of these looked amazing. So there you have it. Those, my friends, are the four common rooms of the four houses here in Hogwarts Legacy. To be honest, they're a little bit bigger than I was expecting. You know, I mean, obviously the common room's a, a, a big, important part of the game, like we said in the intro, but like I, you know, most of our time is gonna be spent exploring Hogwarts inside and outside of the castle and things like that. But I mean, obviously a ton of, of work and, and labor of love went into these and it, it looks like there's gonna be tons and tons and tons of things for us to do and interact with and look at and, and you know, just kind of appreciate. So um, as I've said in, in all of these trailers that we've seen and stuff, you can clearly see the level of detail and passion that's going into this game and I absolutely cannot wait to uh, to explore these myself if I was to pick a favorite it'd be kind of tough I mean they're they're all so good and they're all so varied I honestly think Hufflepuff and Slytherin might be my two favorites just because they're so unique and daring and different you know the Hufflepuff is just so cozy and there's so much going on and it's it's kind of cluttered so is uh you know Gryffindor but uh Slytherin might be my favorite just because it's unique I hope we can see some sea life going past in the lake and stuff. And uh, yeah, let me know which one you guys liked and which one you're going to be spending the most time in. So hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like. Catch you all later. Peace out.